AJ News at 6. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Maggie Smolka. And I'm Matt Alvarez. Pennsylvania senators are considering DUI protections for medical marijuana patients through proposed Senate Bill 167. The bill was recently discussed in front of the Senate Transportation Committee. And our Yanni Tregellis joins us live now in Clearfield County to tell us more about what this could mean for medical marijuana patients. So Yanni, what protections would this proposed bill offer? Matt and Maggie, SB 167 would require an active proof of impairment for a DUI charge because currently any Pennsylvanian that is pulled over and has uh, traces of marijuana in their system, they face DUI charges and they could lose their license even if they are registered medical marijuana patients. This inconsistency in statute needs to be changed. Since its legalization in 2016, more than 600,000 Pennsylvanians have qualified to become registered medical marijuana patients. But more than five years after legalization, Pennsylvania law requires no proof of active impairment, only for a blood test to come back positive for THC, which is why Bartolotta is leading the charge for Senate Bill 167 to change that. Amend state law to require proof of actual impairment, similar to a Schedule II prescription as the basis for a DUI conviction. Examples of proof include if an officer detects signs of impairment, like an odor coming from the car, or if an individual's eyes are bloodshot. If a sobriety test is failed and blood tests show THC in your system, Pennsylvanians will still be held accountable. That would still be subject to prosecution under Senate Bill 167, and that motorist would still face uh, penalties under Pens Pennsylvania's controlled substances law. Currently, Pennsylvania's zero tolerance law does not differ between the medicinal and recreational use of marijuana. But under Senate Bill 167, wording to the law will be added to read, if the individual is a medical patient in compliance with the provisions of the Medical Marijuana Act, proof of actual impairment shall be required. Because of this, unimpaired patients currently face the risk of being arrested, prosecuted, and convicted for using medicinal marijuana that has no bearing on their ability to drive a vehicle. Now at this time, there are still many questions that need to be answered. One of those uh, Senate Transportation Committee Chair Wayne Langer Hulk Jr. tells me is what sort of time window uh, are individuals facing so that they are not so that they can ensure that they are not impaired while they are driving. In Dubois, Yanni Tregellis, WTAJ News.